Hey, what's up everyone? Brian from GumballTech.com again. And today I'm going to show you uh, Snow Leopard, Linux, and Windows 7 booting on my MacBook Pro. All of these operating systems are running natively. None of it's in a virtual machine. So, when I first turn on my laptop, this is the boot screen that I get. It uses Refit, R-E-F-I-T. It's a really nice and customizable and free uh, boot manager for a Mac. So the first thing I'm going to show you is Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu 9.1 uh, Karmic Koala, the 64-bit version. So here you can see Grub loading. It's the, uh, the bootloader. And I'm going to go down to this kernel and choose it. And then the white Ubuntu logo should pop up. Right there. Takes about 20 seconds or so to boot, which isn't that bad. You see the keyboard light turned on. Nice little login screen. The startup sound, and here is my desktop. So this is Ubuntu 9.1, 64-bit, running on my MacBook Pro natively. Um, and that's about it. I got everything to work: audio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I was able to enable the Compiz effects. You can see the windows morphing and stuff. As well as the uh, cube thingy that you could do to switch between multiple desktops. It's really neat. Let's see if I can get this working right. There we go. You can just switch between your virtual desktops. So that's nice to have. You could also do Command Tab to do your. Let me open up another window. Command Tab to do your flip 3D type thing. And that is Ubuntu. Audio. The keyboard brightness and screen brightness all of it is working so everything in here is working perfectly and natively so you don't have to bother using VMware or Parallels running something natively is always the way to go so here we are at the boot screen and now I'm going to go into Windows 7. This is Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. Uh, I got it for free through MSDN AA. Here we are at the boot screen. I'd say out of all three operating systems, Windows 7 has the best boot screen. Hopefully everybody could agree with that. There's my cursor. And it should go to the login screen right about now. Oops. the desktop. Um, Apple made it really easy to install uh, other operating systems. 
on a Mac, and all you really have to do is pop in the disk for it and install it like you would any other OS on a regular PC. So this is Windows 7, audio working, keyboard brightness, screen brightness, all of that, proper resolution, I have the latest video card drivers installed straight from NVIDIA so I get better performance. Let me bring up my Windows Experience Index rating. Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM. Only 3.72 is usable, but that's because of the 9400M using 256 megs for the shared GPU. And let me zoom in. Here's my uh, Windows Experience Index rating. It's a pretty good score. 6.3 for, for uh, CPU, 5.9 for RAM, 6.5. Oh, that went up actually. Usually the graphics and gaming is 6.4, but for those, for the gaming and graphics, if you use the drivers that are included with boot camp, um, you're going to get like 5.6. So, it's recommended to install the latest ones right from NVIDIA. And the primary hard disk is 5.6. I don't know why that is. Most people with Macs and Windows, they get a 5.9. But that's not that big of a deal. So that's Windows. Everything's working fine. And let us restart. So, uh, like, if you guys want me to do a how-to on how to install these things and get them working right, then just let me know and I'll uh, come up with something. And now for Snow Leopard. Not very entertaining. See what's different about the uh, the leopard boot screen is that it's just the same old spinning wheel. It's like it seems like it's taking longer than it should, you know. At least with the Windows 7 one, you have the little animation. So let me log in, and here we are. So there are three operating systems on my MacBook Pro, all running natively, no virtual machines. You can see on the desktop we have the Windows 7 partition. The Ubuntu one doesn't show up because Snow Leopard doesn't recognize the uh, file system, which is ext4. So that is about it for this video. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And again, if you want me to do a video on how to install Ubuntu or Windows on your Mac and get it up and running perfectly, just let me know and I'll uh, come up with something. Thanks a lot.